I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question. It is on application of vectors, dot product and cross product. Let's have a good look at this solution. So the question here is, a parallelogram ORTS is formed by the vectors OR equals to 2 minus 1, 4 and OS 3 minus 2, 1. A line is drawn from the point R perpendicular to the side ST. It intersects ST at a point A. Determine the length RA. Right. So that is the question for you. So let us sketch this and then um, find the solution. So let us say, uh, so for easy calculations, I'll just make this kind of a parallelogram. So I, and then we we'll label this. So this is our parallelogram representing the two vectors. Right. Okay. So we have. O is the origin, let us say, O and we have R on this side, OR, and then OS, let this be the vector S for us, OS. Now it says a line is drawn from point R perpendicular to ST, so this point is ST, and we are drawing a line perpendicular from R to ST. So let us say this is the line which is perpendicular to ST, right? And it intersects ST at point A, so that becomes point A for us you need to find R A. So that is the question. I hope it is absolutely clear. Now you can pause the video, answer and then look into my solution. Now the strategy which we will work with here is area of a parallelogram is what? So the strategy is area of parallelogram is basically cross product, right? So it is O R cross product of O S, right? So that is and their magnitude. Area is a scalar quantity. So it is the magnitude of this that gives us the area, right? So that is one part. And then area you also know is equal to base into height, right? Base into height. So it's also equals to base times height. In our case, the base is OR. So magnitude of OR you can say, right? Magnitude of OR times height RA or the magnitude of RA. So that is what it is. So clearly from here, we can find the cross product given these two vectors and equate it to magnitude of OR times magnitude of RA. So when I divide this by this, we get the magnitude of RA. So that is the kind of strategy which we have here, right? So let's begin by finding the cross product of OR and OS. So we have OR cross OS. That is the first thing we have to do. So we use the matrix method. You can use the other method which you've learned also. Either way, you get the same solution. So OR is 2 minus 1, 4. OS is 3 minus 2, 1, right? So that gives us as I component will be minus 1 minus of this, which is plus 8, minus J, which is 2 times 1 as 2, minus 3 times 4 is 12, plus K, these are unit vectors. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Minus of minus 3 becomes plus 3, right? So we could write this as 7i and this is 10 with a minus sign. So it becomes plus 10j as far as k is concerned plus k. So that is the cross product. That is the left side. And we are interested in finding its magnitude, right? So now let's find the magnitude of so let's find the magnitude of this, right? So magnitude of this will be equal to, let me continue here. So magnitude of this will be equals to square root of 7 square plus 10 square plus 1 square. Right? So we can use calculator to find this answer. So what we have is square root of 49. Okay, I'll write 7 square plus 10 square. Uh, plus 1 square, right? So, and then say equal to, so we have 5 square root 6. Let me write 5 square root 6 as the magnitude of the cross product. So, we have already found the left side. Now, the right side is base times height. So, base is OR. So, we say 5, so base is how much? Let's find what OR magnitude is. So, magnitude of OR will be equals to that is it. So it's square root of 2 square, let me write 4, plus magnitude minus 1 is 1, plus 4 square is 16, right? So 
just find this out. So that gives us square root of 21. So that is OR, correct? So we know cross product is base times height. That means the height RA will be cross product divided by the magnitude here, correct? So from here, we can say that the height, which is, let me use black ink. So height is, is the magnitude RA, right? So magnitude RA will be equal to the cross product. So which is cross product OR times OS divided by the magnitude of OR, right? Magnitude of OR. So cross product will be found as the magnitude of cross product as 5 square root 6, right? And magnitude of OR was square root of 21, correct? Now that gives you the height. So we can find this ratio. So 5 square root 6 divided by 21, right? So we do 5 square root 6 equals to and we'll divide this by square root of 21 and say equals to in decimals let's write down the answer which is 2.67 okay so we get our solution as 2.67 units whatever the units are right so so the answer is that the length ra RA length is magnitude is 2.67 units correct so that is how you could solve this question so follow the steps find the area using cross product find the area using base times height and then find height by equating the two areas right so that is how you should do it thank you and all the best